Winter is just around the corner and your weather team is ready to deliver the winter forecast. And if you love snow, boy, has it been a while. In fact, 647 days since we've had measurable snow right here in the triad. That's a really long stretch. In fact, the last time we got over one inch of snow back in January 2022, it's been almost two years since we got two inches of snow and even longer for a big snow. You have to go all the way back to December 2018 when we got a foot. So how's it looking this? Year? Well, when it comes to winter weather forecasting, it's not just about what's happening here in the triad or even in the state of North Carolina or even across the United States. We have to look at the overall average weather pattern across the globe. And this year is a little bit different. The last couple of years we've had a La Nina winter. Now this year, this winter, we have an El Nino and that's actually already developed. So what happens is we have winds that blow across the equator. We call those the trade winds or near the equator. When they weaken, it allows warmer water to pool up a little closer to South America. What does that do? Well, in turn, it actually strengthens our subtropical jet stream and it lives a little further to the north. So we have a more active storm track that brings us at least a few more opportunities for moisture across the south. Now on the flip side of that, our Arctic outbreaks, Arctic air is usually a little more limited with a further north polar jet. That means that typically things are a little bit warmer to the north and a little bit cooler to the south. As far as precipitation goes, generally the south is typically a little wetter in an El Nino year to the north, typically a little bit drier. And there you go. Temperature impacts again, typically a little warmer to the north and a little cooler across the south. That could mean a better chance for snow, but again, it's all how everything matches up. We have to have the cold air and we have to have the moisture in place at the exact right time. In winter forecasting, it's also important to note the recent changes as we've seen over the past several decades with winters slowly beginning to warm up. Averages since 1970 all the way up until 2022 have gone up four and a half degrees. So this is something that we have to keep in mind while we are winter forecasting here in the triad. We're talking about freezing temperatures overnight. Our data set runs from 1970 to just last year, 2022. That's a 50 year period. And we have actually had fewer nights where the temperature has gone below freezing as noted by this white bar, suggesting a warm up in our climate. It's really helpful for us to look back at winters that had similar conditions to this one when we're making our forecast. I went back and looked at winters from the 80s to 2000s that also had strong El Nino signatures. And in that time, most of those winters had more precipitation than usual, which leads us to believe a wetter winter is likely overall, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to have more snowfall. We did the same thing with temperature and did find that the temperature on average was a little bit above of normal, but not that much. That leads me to believe temperatures very near average overall, but perhaps not that many Arctic outbreaks compared to normal. Oh yes, the biggie. Everyone wants to know about snowfall. In an average year, we get about seven inches or so here in the Piedmont Triad. Looking at those same winters with similar conditions, they showed about nine, which gives us some reason to believe that we might have more opportunities for snow than average. This is not a guarantee, but it certainly seems like near average snow could be doable for us, which is a big deal because that has not happened much in recent years. Your WFMI News 2 winter forecast for this year is calling for a wetter than average winter. Temperatures, they're gonna be pretty much close to average. Snow, that could be close to average. And we'll also have to watch out for ice events. More chances for winter weather than in recent years.